Hello, everybody. Um, just let me get through this section. We know how to do all this. Yeah. So, here we go, Professor Oak. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as a Pokemon professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And for some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling, which is what we'll do. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Let's get rid of that. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a boy! Let's begin with your name. What is it? My name is... I was going to type it out then. Oh, hang on. Oops. Cancel. Exit, thank you. There we go. Teething issues. Steve, no! Affectionately be known as Straps. So your name is Straps? Yes! This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were babies! Uh, what was his name now? He's gonna be Gary. Uh, no. Let's give him a new name. What can we call this fella? I apologise for the music, I will sort that out as soon as I get a chance. And then I'll explain what the hell we're doing. It was Barry! That's right, I remember now, his name was Barry! Straps! Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold! It's all very loud and I do apologise for that. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits you! Right, there's a few things we want to do here. Okay, so we can't... <laughs> can't turn the music off. Right, this is what I'm going to do then. Let me just... Open that up there. Do delete, delete, delete. bring that right down. Okay. That's a bit better. I can hear myself think now. Run in stereo? Yeah. Uh, better mode help. Frame. Let's pick a nice frame. Let's go with that blue. That's nice. Uh, yes, we want shift battle styles. Battle scene on. Yeah. Uh, text speed. Oh. Text speed fast. There we go. That'll do it. So. Welcome to my new Pokemon Fire Red playthrough. We're doing a Nuzlocke challenge on this. Now, if you've seen my vlog, you'll know all about the Nuzlocke challenge, but if you haven't, I'll go through it with you. There are three main rules to the Nuzlocke challenge. One is we have to name all of our Pokemon, which is easy. We'll give them all nicknames. It'll be great. The second one is if you go onto a route for the first time or a new patch of water for the first time or in a town for the first time, time and you can catch Pokemon in a patch of water in that town um, basically your first encounter in a town on a route wherever in a cave that is the Pokemon that you can capture if you fail to capture that or if we fail to capture that if I fail to capture that then we can't catch it the other thing is there is, there's a couple of exceptions to that. One is, if it's a Pokemon we've already caught and already got and we don't want another one. 
Uh, we can skip it only in that situation. The only other situation we can skip one is if it evolves from something that we've already caught or is a pre-evolution to something that we've already caught. Uh, aside from that, if we don't catch it, that's it. That route encounter, we can't get another Pokemon on that route. That's it. Done. Done. Donezo funzo. Let me just check that my webcam is in the right place. Um, right. Just check. Yes, I am in the right place for that webcam. Fantastic. Um, I don't know why it brought up the, the options there again. The third rule is... If we wipe, it's game over. Every time a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and we'll be putting it in the PC. We won't be releasing it because I still can't bring myself to do that. No, no, we won't do that. But it'll go into the PC in what's known as the RIP zone, um, which is which is great. So let's get rid of this. There's a mouse cursor. I don't know if you can see it, but item storage. Let's see what we've got in here. Right, we've got a potion in here, so we'll withdraw that. Yes. Um, right, I've forgotten how slow this character, this character, how slow it is in Pokemon. Right, let's go speak to Mom. Ugh, the music seems to be all. Ugh. Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh yes, Professor Oak is next door, looking for you. Mom, why do you sound like me? I don't know. I'm gonna do voices. Yeah, let's do voices. This is Professor Oak's house. So, in Pallet Town, which I think this is where we're... Yeah, Pallet Town. We uh, will have an encounter here. Daisy. Hi, Straps! My brother Barry is out at Grandpa's lab! Why are you so old? Okay. So, we haven't even got any Pokemon yet, but the Pallet Town encounter will be in this water. But we'll have to get Surf before we can do that. So, we can't do that. There's Gary Oak. Barry Oak, I should say. What? It's only Straps! Gramps isn't around! Why does he talk like that? I don't know! Right, luckily I know what to do. We do this. La 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 Oh, it's dangerous. Hey! I've forgotten how he talks. Whoops. It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in the tall grass! You need your own Pokemon for your protection! I know! Here, come with me! If I keep doing that voice, I'm gonna know it. Hey, Gramps! I'm fed up with waiting! Barry! Let me think! Oh, that's right! I told you to come! Just wait! Here, Straps! Here are three Pokémon here! Here, here, and here! Ha-ha! The Pokémon are held inside these Pokéballs! When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer! From Griswoldy. Yeah, reference. But now in my old age, I have these three left. And you can have one. Go on, choose. They're only level five because I haven't got around to training them because I'm a lazy bugger. Hey, Gramps! No fair! What about me? Be patient, Barry. You can have one too. You can have the one that uh, Straps chooses. You can have the one that's strong against the one that Straps chooses, because you're my grandson, and I'm happy about that. Okay, so, got to think logically about this. Which one is going to be the most beneficial to us? Is it going to be Bulbasaur? Is it going to be Squirtle? Or is it going to be Charminder? Well, obviously, my favourite is the Charminder, which evolves into Charmeleon, which evolves into Charizard, but that's not going to be very useful for us for the first gym. And I've got to think about what the first gym is going to be. So it's going to be one of these two, and I think... Ah, oh, Squirtle or Bulbasaur? 
squirtle. No, you get plenty of grass types later on. What's more useful though, water type? Uh, I mean, you get more water types later on, but... Ah, no. Go with Squirtle. Yeah! So he's gonna pick Bulbasaur, because that's what Barry's like. Right, nickname for Squirtle. Hmm. I haven't thought this far. What can we call Squirtle? Call Squirtle. I toyed with the idea of naming my Pokemon after subscribers. But I don't quite have enough yet, depending on how many Pokemon we're going to catch. So I probably won't do that. Or I might. I might do that. I definitely know Jamie is a subscriber of mine, so we will call this Pokemon... Shinra. Okay. Okay, for some reason my stat and select aren't working, but it's fine. It's not an issue. I'll take this one then. Sorry. I'll take this one then. Is that how he talks? I can't remember. He's got Bulbasaur. Of course he's got Bulbasaur. Right. First fight, if we lose that, obviously we're not counting that. The Nuzlocke doesn't actually start until we get Pokeballs. Which I think is fair. Some people play it and that they don't um, heal their Pokemon, or if they want to heal their Pokemon, they have a token system or, or something. We're not doing that. It's going to be hard enough as it is, I think. So, right, okay, let's have a battle. Do, 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 do. Here we go, first battle. Like I say, warm-up battle, it'd be good to get the win, but it doesn't matter if we lose this one. Send out your Bulbasaur. I've got a lovely Shinra. Oh, for Pete's sake, so... Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always! Straps, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. So your Bulbasaur... This is Shinra! Okay, so a trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. And after this, if that happens, we die. A death. Oh, terrible death. So we gotta try and get the Nuzlocke underway. So fight this, and then go get... Our Pokeballs. Uh, let's Tailwind. Let's lower your defenses, Sunny Jim. Okay, they've gone for the tackle. Wow, okay. Uh, now, our tackles should hurt more. Oh, what? You missed? Okay, we're all missing. It's great. Yes, inflicting damage is key to battle. Well done. Let's keep right. We got one, one more hit. Don't be a crit. One more hit and he's dead. Yeah! We won our first Pokemon battle! Doom! Excellent. Okay! Haha, <laughs> Barry! What? Unbelievable! Why you sound like Professor Oak? I was doing an impression! Oh. Hmm, excellent! If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokémon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokémon strong! Off he goes. Right, we're following. Uh, we're gonna go get a town map next. Which is in here. Town map. I want a cup of tea. Heard you had a battle against Barry. I wish I'd seen that. Oh. Oh, it has actually hurt my voice. <coughs> oh dear. Now oh, this would be really useful. Okay, so we're not allowed to get that just yet. Jumping the gun a bit here. 
Mummy, heal my Pokemon, please, please. It's injured. It's just been in a fight. Oh god. Yes, okay, even though it doesn't matter if um, Squirtle faints, uh, Shinra, I should say, if Shinra faints, it's, it's not the end of the world. Um, but let's just get going. Right, okay, we need to go to, oh god. This isn't our encounter for Route 1, we haven't got any Pokeballs yet, so, but that would have been good. It's better than a Rattata. Uh, we might as well just tackle it. Pidgey, you son of a bitch! A critical hit. Right, one more, one more hit. Ah, you missed. Done! Done, Sir Alfonso! Nice one, Shinra. Okay, so, I think. This episode's already starting to drag on, mostly because of the messing about with the options, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, we got another fight. It's another Pidgey. If it's a Rattata when we come down, I'm not going to be happy. Well, no, I'm not going to be happy. We need a flying type. Ah, stupid Pidgey. Right, okay. We'll level up after this battle. Done. So we haven't still. I keep repeating this. We haven't started the Nuzlocke yet. Well, I'll keep going on this episode until we start the Nuzlocke. Uh, and Shinra's looking strong. Shinra is looking strong. I'm almost tempted to heal. Nope. Oh, we almost made it. Ah, right, okay, this time it is a Ratata. A level 4 Ratata. We've got 10 HP. Let's just tackle it. Oh, we learnt Bubble! I missed that! I'm going to use that potion. I don't want to lose... It's the inconvenience of it. I don't want to start back down there. Oh, defense drop, eh? Okay, let's Bubble you. Enjoy that, and it'll start bubbling your eyes. Too much. Let's do it again. And then we'll finish it off with a tackle. Done. Gunzo, Funzo. Okay then. Oh, this is quite nostalgic for me because I obviously played the first original games and then it's been so long since we need one of the generation one games uh, on the 3DS I think right okay here's a Pokemon Center we'll be using these quite a lot let's go save not save what am I talking about we'll just heal it up Get our PP restored. So that potion wasn't a waste, but it might have been a waste for save. Saving, don't turn off the power, you save the game. I haven't checked to see if the save games work yet, but if it's not, this Nuzlocke will be very short. Right, so we need to go to the Mart, I think. Hey you, come from Palatine? I certainly did. You know Prof Oak, right? Prof Oak? Prof Oak. Is that what I came in? Can I get you to take it to him? I just... I put the voice on very late for him. I do apologise. Um, I'm just going to do whatever voices come to my head because I'm, I'm not going to remember everybody's. There's no way I'm going to remember everybody's. Can we run? No, we haven't got a pair of running shoes yet. Okay, so we need to go all the way back down. And... Uh, oh. oh. If we go this way, we won't have any encounters. Okay. Could have avoided that patch of grass as well. This one we can't avoid. We made it through. Right. Professor Oak, are you in here? 
you are, aren't you? Hello. Oh, oh, straps. How is my old Pokemon? I've only been gone two minutes. Well, it seems he's growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Ah! It's the custom Pokeball! I had it on order, thank you. Whamps! I almost... I almost forgot! What did you call me for? Alright, I have a... Alright, I have a request for you two. On the desk here of my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia! Straps and Barry, take these with you. Okay. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain the complete data. So, here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Yay, we got our Pokeballs. Right, Nuzlocke Challenge starts now. Let's get our first encounter done. Healthy Pokemon can escape! I want you to fulfill my dream for me! Now get moving, you two! It's a great undertaking in Pokemon history! Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me! Straps, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this! I know I'll borrow a town map from my sis! I'll tell her not to get you one, Straps. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. You're supposed to be my friend. Wow. Okay. Right. Let's go find out. Let's go get a town map. And we'll do a quick save. And see. Grandpa asked you to run mayor errand. Take this town map! Yay! Okay, I'm a little worried about this because I... I don't want to make it faint. I don't think that that'll happen, but I definitely want to capture this Pokemon. See, this is Route 1, so this is going to be our encounter for Route 1. We have to catch something. Right, what's it going to be? Ah, it is a Pidgey! Right, I want to not make this faint now. Go Shinra! Don't make it faint. Let's try a tackle. I don't want to tail whip it. Okay. Let's go for another tackle. Go Shinra. Uh, I'd like it. Let's try it. I don't necessarily want to uh, hit it again. <coughs> Excuse me. Go on. No worries! We caught ourselves a Pidgey. Pidgey. Right, naming that after another subscriber. I'm not sure if I can tell on my phone. I don't have dual screens, so I need to have a list of my subscribers, really. But this one... I'm pretty sure this is what he calls himself. Um, and we've had him for a while. So, I think... Right, let's read the entry first. Does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food such as small bugs. Give a nickname to Pidgey. Yes, we are going to call him... Mix... And he's a man, so that's useful. Last named after Mixmaster, who is Mixmaster Steve. He's one of my mates. Um, but is also a subscriber, so he qualifies. So uh, if you want a Pokemon named after you, subscribe to my channel and you'll get one. I can't promise it'll live for very long, but you'll you'll get named. Okay, so we've got Mixmaster. Let's have a look at our team now then. 
And this is where we're going to call it for today's episode, because this is getting quite long. Right, at the minute, we have got Shinra. Our uh, Squirtle has a, a bashful nature. And um, there's. What's, it, what's there, his stats like? Right, he's fairly defensive. Okay. Then we've got Mixmaster, who seems to have. Uh, investment in speed, which is great. Uh, it's got keen eyes, so it can't lose its accuracy. That's pretty good. It knows tackle. That's it. Uh, docile nature, though. Uh, I don't think that's the best one. But, doesn't really matter. You don't get to pick and choose. I'm sure he's going to put in some work for us. So, thank you all very much for watching me play Pokemon Fire Red. We've started our Nuzlocke challenge. Tune in next time as we make it up to the next town, which I forgot what it's called. I think it's called, um, it's not Lavender, uh, Ver Vermilion, Ver Vermilion, Viridian, Viridian City because of Viridian for us. So we'll see you in the next episode. Remember, thumbs up or thumbs down, to show whether or not you're enjoying the series, and remember to subscribe, and I'll name a Pokemon after you. So thank you very much. Tune in next time. I'll see you again. Goodbye!